Hundreds of Sarasota County residents came out tonight to meet and then rate the superintendent candidates. Three finalists are looking to replace Lori White, who is retiring in a few months. ABC 7's Ray Collins is just back from this public reception. Ray. Ellie, the board will review the comment card tonight, but some admit they already have a favorite finalist. That box of comment cards is no small deal. It's to help choose the next school superintendent. After another day grilling the three candidates, the board gave the public a chance to meet the finalists and give their opinion, and many residents appreciate the opportunity. Very much so. I think people are educated, and they want to make sure that they have some input. The public is helping decide between the superintendent of Monroe County in the Florida Keys, Mark Porter, the deputy superintendent of St. John's County in Northeast Florida, Brennan Asplin, and the only local candidate, Todd Bowden, the executive director of the Adult and Career Education Program. This is the best process I've said, have had so far, and I've had the opportunity to select like five different superintendents. Member of the board, Caroline Zucker, says she'll put a lot of stock in tonight's comment cards. You have somebody in mind already you'd like to see win? No, I'm... So I'm open. I really am. I want to hear what the community has to say tonight. I, I feel pretty confident. You got somebody in mind? I do. You're not going to tell me. I'm not going to ask you to, but do you have a favorite in mind? I do. And I will wait. You will find out on the 18th as that, as that progresses. And as this progresses to the contract stage, incoming board member Eric Robinson hopes that process involves him even though he doesn't have any say in the overall selection. Uh, but the board has already decided that they're going to uh, make the vote before I become on the board. How do you feel about that? I, uh, I trust the judgment of the, uh, the sitting school board members. And the member Robinson's replacing says it's only right that he helps decide the superintendent before stepping down. Last I checked, I'm a school board member. And I'm the one that's getting paid to make the decision, and I represent the community. And on this night, the community was well represented. So suspense is now building. The board will decide on Tuesday afternoon, Haley. And Ray, how soon would they start the person who was picked? Not for a couple of months. In fact, there, some are surprised at the uh, timing and the speed of this process. But we are awaiting that final decision. Tuesday. All right. Thank you, Ray.